Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please, before you continue to watch this video, don't forget to click the subscribe bot button by subscribing to my channel for more IT related video. So today I'm going to discuss how to install software using other user. So let's say you log on to this computer as a user and not as an administrator. And by trying to install a software, sometimes you may be required to enter your administrator credentials. So for example, I have a Java um, software which I downloaded to this computer. So if I right click, ju just double click on this software, you can see uh, I'll be requested to actually enter my um, admin credentials and my password. So this is a pop-up of the user's um, account control. But how if, for example, you connect to this computer using um, TeamViewer and by accessing this computer with TeamViewer without you using uh, an admin credentials, you may you may receive that pop-up, but you will not be able to put in your um, admin credentials. So what you need to do is you need to press the shift key on your keyboard and then right click on this software. And here you can see we have two options to actually um, install this software which is run as administrator or run as different user so if i just right click on the software without pressing the shift key on my keyboard then I'll, i only have one option run as administrator so let me show you what happened if i press the shift key and then run as different user here you can see i'm receiving a windows security pop-up but not the uh, user's um, account control pop-up which of course if you are not logged on to this computer if you are using remote um, team viewer and you are not actually logging in with team viewer or with your domain uh, or admin credentials you will not be able to enter your credentials so what i just need to do right now is to enter my admin credentials and then enter my password and click OK. So by doing this, you see, do you want to allow this app to make change to your device? So click Yes. And right now, I will be able to install Java on this computer. So you can see the installation process will take place. So that is how you actually connect to um, install software using a different user or you can as well connect to this computer and as well do the same using other user to install the software. My name is Kelvin Johnson. Please, if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also like my video for me taking my time to create this video. So I appreciate. I will also appreciate you leaving leaving comment behind to actually ask me questions if you have any question concerning um, IT related subject. Thank you very much and see you next time.